Okay. So, here comes few sums based on the properties which we have learned just now. Okay. So, your sum is add 6 plus 7 plus 3. Okay. So, this pattern we are going to follow the last property which we have learned. That is we will be regrouping it. So, how you can regroup? You can take combine two numbers first and then whatever answer we get it from that we can add the third one. So, either we can take as 6 plus 7 plus 3 or we can take 6 plus 3 plus 7 or you can take 7 plus 3 plus 6. Okay. So, whichever way we are going to regroup our answer will remain the same. So, shall we do the first one 6 plus 7. So, after 6 count the next 7 numbers it is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So, the total of 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. Shall we do the next one? It says 6 plus 3, right? So, after 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, 9 plus 7. So, count 9 plus 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. The third one, 7 plus 3, 8, 9 and 10. 10 plus 6 is how much? It is 16. So, in all the three cases, my answer is the same. Right? So, did you see? In whichever form I shuffle the number, my end of the day, my answer is the same. My sum is same. Okay? Shall we do one more? Okay. Your next question is, add 10 plus 5 plus 2. Okay? So, what are the possible ways in which we can regroup? 10 plus 5 plus 2 or 5 plus 2 plus 10 or 10 plus 2 plus so, these are the three ways in which I can regroup it, right? So, 10 plus 5 is how much? It's 15. 15 plus 2 is how much? 17. Next, 5 plus 2, 6, 7, right? So, 7 plus 10, how much it is? Good, it is 17. The last one, 10 plus 2 is how much? Good, it is 12. So, 12 plus 5 is 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. Yes. So, in all the three cases, my answer is the same. Understood? So, shall we proceed further with few challenging sums? 